just be yourself and watch how you start watch how you start winning at life seriously i think for me most of the things that have come super easy and have been a blessing to my life i've not had to force i've not had to do any scam any hack it's just because i've been myself i've been true to myself whether it's through my f- food choices my music taste my clothing, how I express myself, all my tattoos, my nails, whatever. Whatever the case may be, I'm just authentically being myself. Who I think I am. I just got off the phone with my good friend. And he was talking about how I asked him the question about like being being ourselves. Like, what does that mean? You know, he he said something interesting. You know, we can't sit alone for five minutes without having some form of distraction in front of us. That was one thing he said, you know, we don't know who we are because we haven't made the time to get to know ourselves. We're always chasing some some goal or chasing somebody, adverting our attention outward instead of inward. We have no time to contemplate, to sit, to think, to self-reflection, to actually explore our hobbies, to know what we actually like. And we don't, we just don't, make that time for ourselves but we'll make it for other people subsequently is also true if you don't really know yourself like that this might be an assumption but i don't think you love yourself as much either and i think what tends to happen is when you're not sure of yourself when you're not confident in yourself you project that outward and you exasperate what it is in other people i think so you will never fail at being yourself. You might fail trying to copy somebody else, trying to be like them, trying to. But if you actually be, if you actually take time for yourself, man, what is Mac like? What what do I like? I ain't just talking about my favorite color. That might be on the circle. That might be where you start, right? You might start. What's my favorite color? And then you might end up. Oh, how do I feel about quantum mechanics? I'm actually into different mathematical, you know, uh, equations that I like to figure out. I'm a big anime nerd, or I like to cook, or um, I actually like cleaning on my spare time. I actually like just, you know, showing my hard work of how I cleaned up. No, I actually enjoy reading, you know, or I actually like taking long walks and walking my dogs, right? You don't know any of that stuff because you haven't had the time. You haven't made the time to sit down and really explore who you are. So this is just me saying, remember that it's about being who you are. But but we hear that all the time, right? Like we, we hear that cliche, right? But why is it why is it a cliche? It's because it's like it's something that needs to be repeated again and again because I think people don't really take heed to it. They don't really know what it means. I'm guilty myself of sometimes uh putting on a mask. I am. I, I don't wanna make it feel like I'm impervious to this or this doesn't affect me no it does but at the same time i'm in a point now where i don't code switch i know that that i don't know how many of you guys know what code switching is but it's just basically you're switching some type of personality of of, of who you are or who you think you should be around a certain group of people or a certain person you just and specifically in the workplace you cold switch when the boss comes. Like, it's not even just a race thing. I think it's also somebody comes that you feel like you need to be more, okay, a different way about it. You just cold switch. I've stopped doing that because I know that I'm hurting myself in the long end. And it's exhausting too. It, isn't it exhausting to constantly have to put on a front for people? It Doesn't that tire you out to, to be constantly, right? To constantly have to fake. To, oh, you want to be this person and now you over here. Just be, I mean, it gets tiring. It does, man. And for the longest, I was in that period of people pleasing, of trying to be a certain way, of trying to act a certain way and not step on anybody's toes, not tell my family I'm listening to reggae music, not showing them my nails, not like just different things that I did growing up, <clears throat> even to now, of where I've stuck with myself. Times when I'm, I mean... I'll just be honest with you guys. I live eight hours away from my family. And I mostly only talk to my 
immediate family. I don't really talk to my extended, like, I talk to some aunts and uncles, but mostly just my main family sometimes when I can. And, you know, I went through a period of time where we, we were not cool, and it's just not, I'll be honest with you guys, I felt a little lonely at, at a period of time. But I also realized that, you know what, people who are for me are going to be for me. That's how you have to approach it with being yourself. I'm going to be myself regardless. If people don't like it, they just don't like it. But I'm going to be I'm going to be Mac regardless. I think people can can people can detect it's something innate inside of, of people. They can de- detect that f- that fakeness that you have. Right? And when someone is actually just genuine, you can feel that it it, it doesn't feel forced and Subsequently, people also will come and want to be around you when you're being yourself because it allows them to, like my friend said, it allows them to drop that mask for them to be comfortable in your presence, for them to say, you know what, man, I know that I can tell such and such about this. I know I can relate to this person. I know I can. And it's, and it's not you're not dropping the mask so people can come to you. You're, you're just dropping the mask so you can be who you are without all of this ego bullshit making you feel like you have to be a certain way. You have to project to be a certain way. Your personality has to be this way. It's a mere projection of your mind of who you think you should be, right? No, like you're you. You don't have to fake. You don't have to be like this other person, right? We all have something inside of us that people want to see, people want to hear, right? People want to connect with you. People want to be social with you. And if they don't, that's okay too. You you feel like this is you. You feel like you're being yourself, but deep down inside, you know you're faking it. Deep down inside, you know that you're being inauthentic. So I'll tell you these two things without being too descriptive. Uh, I'll close with this of how this type of um, being myself has, has really helped me in a plethora of, of ways. Number one, I was going to uh, get a car recently. I ended up getting a Mazda Miata uh, Grand Touring, which I love. Really great car. Uh, smaller, there, smaller than my uh, <laughs> Tundra, but <laughs> smaller than my Tundra, but nonetheless, love the car. And the guy who sold it to me I had somebody else that was going to buy it. But because he met me, he told me he loved my personality. He loved that I was a respectful young man. This this was this was a man who was probably 55, 56. Cars in great condition. It belonged to a grandmother before. and But it's in great, great condition. But anyway, he said, man, I, I really like your energy. I, I think that you're a great person. And I... I I can tell that you are trying to do the right thing and, you know, I'll, I'll go ahead and, you know, give you the car. Like, I was shocked by that because I wasn't expect, I was expecting kind of the opposite, uh, to be honest, just because he had said, oh, he had somebody before. But he, he just told me, like, just by meet him meeting me and knowing I'm being genuine and being myself, he gave me the car. And the second thing, too, right, you guys know I've been in photography for a while, probably since 2016. Oh, if you... Don't mind following me on Instagram at Drifted Visuals. You can see my work over there. But I've been in photography for a while, and I've been lately getting into a lot of metalcore, rock shows, heavy metal, things like that. And I just went to my second show. And as vague, vaguely as I can say, I already have opportunities surrounding that. And I attribute that literally to, to me just being myself. Like, just being myself, putting myself out there, just like being like, okay, whatever, like, you know, you're either with me or not. It's people can sense that and people can pick up on that and people want to, you know, things just work out for you when you are being yourself. When you're faking and you're trying to put on the front, you're trying to appease people, you're trying to people please, it, it never works out. It might work in the short term, but long term, you're going to you're gonna be sniffed out because it's it's not genuine. It's not authentic. So I just made this short video just to tell you guys, keep being you. Make time for yourself. Write down the things that you like, no matter how small. Again, no matter if it's your favorite color, all the way up to how you feel about different issues, how you feel about different topics. Just 
you know, I would recommend journaling, right? And that might give you that push to really start focusing on what you like and being yourself. So that's all I wanted to say. Thank you guys for watching. And, um, yeah, it's, it's, uh, it's good because I haven't seen you guys in a while. But, yeah, uh, have a good day, and uh, I'll see you later. Peace.